Oh, oh my God. What an exciting Sunday. Oh, well, you don't get too many days like this in the off season, do you? You got to take advantage of days like this. Oh my God. It, this is unbelievable. <sighs> First, we get, uh, well, what's this guy's name? Uh, D doodly do, or what's the guy? What's the, the tater? Uh, DeAndre, whatever the hell. Uh, they're starting Clint, uh, Clemson defensive back, all ACC team, projected first rounder in next year's draft. Booted uh, off the taters earlier today. Apparently, this guy couldn't get, get it through his head that uh, when you play football in college, you're a student athlete. Student athlete. Yeah, uh, I guess he didn't feel like he needed to go to class. Uh, plus, uh, I guess he got caught one too many times. Uh, with the stickiest of the icky. I, I, I don't know. Uh, how many times do you have to get caught at Clemson uh, smoking uh, the magic juju there before uh, Dabo uh, boots off team? I don't know. But but anyway, I wasn't even going to make a video about that. I mean, this, this, this Clemson DB, he was pretty good. He's a B-plus player on a C-minus team. Uh, the Taters are headed in the wrong direction. Let's just call it like it is. The Taters are going downhill. I mean, they're fixing to be on a two-game losing streak as soon as the season starts this coming year when they take an ass beating the hands of my Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, and to be honest, this DeAndre Lee Do or whatever the hell his name is, uh, uh, Tater Man, uh, he's probably better off not suffering through another season at Clemson and just going somewhere else. Or going to the NFL or, or whatever. It's just, it is what it is. Yabba dabba dabba! Losing control up in Tater Town. What a shock. What a surprise. Oh my God. Who saw this coming? <laughs> Me. <sighs> Wasn't even going to make a video on it. Student athlete. Sir, student athlete. My right, God, do you know how dumb you have to be to not even be willing to pretend to go to class at Clemson? My right, God. Anyway, like I said, B-plus player on a C-minus team. And then I'm getting ready. I went in, got dressed. It's, it, what an what a amazing day. 80 degrees and sunny for the second day in a row. But anyway, inside, get dressed, getting ready. We're going to eat dinner with the in-laws tonight. They're doing a little cookout thing over at their uh, house. And... I get a message, says, Lou, what's up with Eric Gilbert? And without even really thinking, I was like, boy, this guy, you know, whoever's asking this sure is late to the party. And I mean, this news is six weeks old. You know, Eric Gilbert entered the transfer portal on January 5th. Not long after, announced he was going to be enrolling at Florida. Bing, bang, boom. Uh, you know, he leaves, uh, he, he left the corn dog there in Baton Rouge. He quit. To opt it out. You, you don't opt out with two games remaining in the regular season. He quit on the corn dog. Entered the transfer portal January 5th. Off to Florida. I'm thinking, God, Lee, how you just now hearing about this? Then I keep reading and it says, no, no, he's leaving Florida. And I'm like, what? Hey, what's going on here? So I looked it up. And sure enough, this guy done put on his tweeter. This Eric Gilbert, uh, if you want to go check on his Twitter or whatever the case, uh, yeah, he's decided now to re-enter the transfer portal. Apparently not happy with old Clown Mullen down there in Gainesville. Again, who could have possibly seen this coming? <laughs> Dan Mullen is a clown. He, he Now, it's bad enough when you can't recruit five stars. And Dan Mullen can't recruit five stars. I mean, this has just been proven time and time again. You look on his roster, there's like three or four five stars on there. They're all transfers. Uh, he gets all of his, any five star that he gets is always out of the transfer uh, portal, which makes it even more strange, this Dan Clown Mullen, this big rant he gave a week or two weeks ago, whatever it was, this interview he did where, oh, I don't like the direction that college football is headed and, you know, the transfer portal is no good. Hey, sir, sir, Clown Mullen, the only five stars you get are for the transfer portal. What are you crying about? But now, that ain't even, I mean, I mean, he can't even keep those. 
I don't even think this guy ever enrolled there. It's Eric Gilbert. And now he says, nope, I've seen enough of the, of the circus clown show that Dan Mullen is offering down in Gainesville. I got to get the hell out of here. Back in the transfer portal. This guy has now entered the transfer portal twice in a six-week period. Now, we knew back in November he was leaving LSU. We didn't know he didn't officially enter the transfer portal until January 5th. Announced he was going to go to Florida. Uh, took his name out of the portal. Uh, committed to Florida. Now he's decommitting from Florida and going back in the transfer portal again. And he says this time he's not announcing anything or saying where he's going or where he's thinking about going or anything until he just enrolls at a campus somewhere. So that'll be the next news we hear about Eric Gilbert. Wherever he enrolls, uh, that's where he'll be playing football. And man, let me say something about Eric Gilbert. He's from the state of Georgia. Georgia wanted him during his recruitment. Uh, I don't think we ever really had a shot at him coming out of high school. He never really gave Georgia that much consideration. We went after Darnell Washington from the same class, another five-star tight end, and got him. But Eric Gilbert's a great player. But is there something wrong with this kid? Does this doesn't this seem like a little bit of like Zach Evans mentality from two recruiting classes ago? The running back that was committed and decommitted from every school in America, then actually sent his pe uh, paperwork into UGA on early signing day, officially signed with UGA, then wanted out, punched his high school coach or something and got kicked off his high school team, uh, then uh, got suspended from his high school team again because he wouldn't put his cell phone, just a big, just seemed like a mess, back, back and forth, different schools, ends up at TCU. That, Eric Gilbert seems like another guy, I mean, make up your mind, bro. I mean, you're from Georgia. You gave us one of these. You went off to the corn dog. You quickly found out that wasn't going to work. Then you decide to go join up with the circus down there in Gainesville at clan, uh, Clown Dan Mullen. You, you, not even six weeks goes by and you want out of there. I don't know where Eric Gilbert is going. If he comes to Georgia, uh, okay. But it's not like I'm out here dying to get this kid. Georgia's got enough offensive weapons. The best thing about getting Eric Gilbert, I guess, if Georgia were to get him, would be that that meant someone else didn't have him. But I'm going to be honest. I'm not over here hoping and, 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 and praying that we get Eric Gilbert. So it's just something seems off with this one. Now, I know that you know anybody that leaves Florida, that's a sign of actually having some sense. But come on, the guy's done left two schools in a six-week period. Something seems awry there. I uh, don't know what it is. Maybe he smokes weed and hates class. He can go to Clemson. <laughs>